qualifying in pole. Australia were looking for a good start. That's exactly what they got as Dean Ferris charged down the inside alongside Valentin Guio. But it was the 29 of Dean Ferris of Team Australia who led the way in the opening stage of the race. He was fortunate to survive that moment there. Guio was behind him in second, but just behind them was the number two of Roxon in third as Evgeny Bobrashev went out of uh, the MX1, MX2. 67 Motocross of Nations opener. Later on in the race though, challenge for second. And then the lead for Ken Roxon. He opened the door and he went through. Ferris then came under attack from Tony Cairoli, who eventually charged his way through. And Tony Cairoli was then moving forward all the time during the race. Ferris, he'd already made a mistake down this part of the track and then got passed by the 22 of Tommy Searle, who moved into third with that move. Further down, Lupino was also fighting for Italy, but he could only come home in 13th position. Eli Tomac, number eight, had a good start, a, a bad start, but he was having to charge through the field from outside the top 20 on the opening lap. And he was all over the back of Roxon in no time at all as well. But before all of that, though, Ryan Dungey of Team USA in seventh, who started in 16th, was slowly making his way towards sixth. But in the closing stages, this was a battle between Roxon and Tomac. They were second and third. But then this big crash here from Eli Tomac had the crowd up in roars. He managed to pick himself up and remount and join the race in 16th place. But that was a costly mistake from Eli Tomac. Tony Cairoli was in the lead and he went on to win the first race from Roxon and Searle. Ferris was fourth. After race one, Germany led by a point over Italy with Australia tied and, Ger and Belgium just another point further back. So two points separating the top five guys. But going through the first turn, Todd Waters of Australia got caught up in a crash. The number 30 with a whole bunch of other guys, one of them being the favourite, Germany, who were leading going into the second race. So Dennis Ulrich went out and it wasn't the first time either. But up front, Dean Ferris once again got that Fox whole shot award. And he came under attack, not only from the number two of Ken Roxon, but also the number eight of Eli Tomac. And for the next 17 laps, Roxon and Tomac put on a show of magnificent proportions in front of a stacked out crowd. Heron Bracker, number 12, crashed out. And Dennis Ulrich of Germany couldn't avoid the bike as he came around. And that was him out of the race. So suddenly Germany were on the back foot. Plamond Sal didn't make a good start either, but he was on the charge on the number six Suzuki. But a little bit further up the field, 32 and 14 of Alexander Tonkov. Big moment for Justin Barsha, but Tonkov and Lupino were having their own little battle. But Ken Roxon though, he was in the driving seat and under attack from the number eight of Eli Tomac to Sal. Eventually got himself up into third after finding a way past Justin Barsha, the American. But on the final lap, Number two, Ken Roxon, he started to try to open up a gap. He probably had an eye on where Tomac was going to be good through the final corner. Barsha made a mistake coming out of the penultimate turn. But the final lap, though, he threw everything at Roxon. And it was Roxon who won. Tomac was second to South third, Barsha fourth, and Ferris was fifth. Jeremy Van Horbeek had a great ride to finish in seventh. Coming into the final race then, Belgium with the new leaders on 25, America 28, Italy 36 and France 38 with Australia 39. But there was drama as Barsha, De Salle, Todd Waters all went down at the first turn and Sean Simpson for Great Britain. It was bad for De Salle as well, the number six on the Suzuki, a dislocated shoulder as a result of that crash. Which meant Kenda Dijkup, the lone Belgian in the race. Number one though. Max Nagel of Team Germany, he pulled a whole shot and led for the first nine laps of 19. Tony Cairoli was on the charge, he was in third, he made this mistake going after Evgeny Bobrashev. Eventually caught him and went into second as Tommy Searle found a way past Ryan Dungey and then chased down Gauthier Paulant of France. These guys battling for fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth during the race. Brett Metcalf of Australia made a good start but made a mistake as well and would eventually get back to eighth position. But with Todd Waters having to fight way through the field, any chance of an Australian podium this weekend were all but done and dusted. Up front, Tony Cairoli found a way to close in on the number one of Max Nagel. He found a way through on lap 10 and Italy 
were suddenly closing in on a podium, maybe even a win. So too were Belgium, but Cairoli won the race. De Dijka had a good couple of laps to come home in second. Bobrashev was third, Nagel was fourth. And it was Belgium who were victorious. They finished on 27 points. America were on 30, Italy on 33. Australia just missed out on 40, but the FIM Monster Energy Motocross Nations Champions 2013 were Team Belgium. Winners for the first time since 2004. second corner second race and uh, I thought this is over but uh, I put myself together again and came back from 34 to 7 and, and that was awesome Ken rode his ass off the, uh, the third race and uh, unfortunately Clement dislocated his shoulder but uh, hey we did it great and job finally well done I'm going to come and have a word with Ken Ken you deserve a massive pat on the back for that final race how good does this feel now Oh uh, yeah, ending the season like this, oh, it's amazing. Uh, the last GPs I had an injury and couldn't do, couldn't do what I was doing before, but now uh, back that last moto, yeah, the first moto not so good, but now, uh, yeah, happy. Just uh, amazing feeling to winning so a big event. Well done, Ken. Thanks. And we're going to come finally, last but not least at all, Clement de Salle. Clement, not exactly how you wanted to win it, but nevertheless a great feeling right now. Yeah, yes, yeah, sure, but uh, I'm really sad because I, uh, I had a crash on the last moto and uh, I pain in my shoulder. I think I dislocated and uh, now it's put back good, but uh, we'll see on the doctor. Uh, yeah, sure, it's good that we win. I hope you get better soon and these guys are so grateful to you. At 20